Well, hello everybody and welcome back to our channel, Two Brothers Outdoors. And even though you don't know it, this is take two, because somebody forgot to turn their mic on. And when I had the uh, transmitter for the mic plugged into the camera, if I don't have the mic on, there is no sound. The well, last video I cut, I forgot to put the mics on uh, the charger, and the batteries were going dead. They don't let you know that. And the sound on that video was And I didn't know that till I started videoing it or uh, editing it so Your flies are out So anyway, um I did voiceover on that video it didn't turn out too bad I will check this video throughout the day to make sure the mics are working all right, guys, today I got a couple of nice pieces of angle iron here. And I'm building a modification for my Hudson Mill. So hang out with us here and watch me build this and find out what it's going to be. And then I probably won't implement it today, but I will sometime this week. Tim is recovering very well. He's uh, feeling better every day. Of course, he's on uh, what he can do is very limited right now. So it'll be a week or two before he joins us, but he's getting there. He's doing very well. And thank you for all those who have shown concern and uh, throughout the well wishes and the prayers. All right, guys, I got to go grab some hardware. Got to dig through my junk and see what I can find. And we'll get started on this project. Let's work better if they're not broke.
She's got to oh. devise a cam to make it move an inch and a half. And then I will bring you in here and show you what I've been doing. Okay guys, if you haven't figured out what I made yet, this is a uh, tapered siding jig. I'm testing it right now. I'm thinking a can't, uh, uh, pine can't, can't weigh any more. Get it? Play on words there. Pine can't, can't weigh any more than 200 pounds, right? And right now, with the cam I built, the little handle right here, I've got 200 pounds on it. And it's coming up and going down just the way it's supposed to. This will handle an 8 inch cant, eight inch cant only. But I can't imagine making siding any wider than 8 inches anyway. All right. I'm going to come get you guys and bring you over here and show you everything up close. And then I'm going to call it quits for this video. All right, guys. So this is what I built. This is a jig for tapered siding. This is what I was showing you when I was kneeling on it. This is the uh, cam that raises up and down. The eight inch cant will sit against these stops right here so I don't have to dog it down. And right here is the hinges. You got one here and one there. And that allows this to move up and down, which it only has to move up and down a half inch. So it's going to be fun. Fun to try it. And all we got to do is go find a pine log and cut an 8 by 8 inch, uh, well, an 8 inch wide can't, and then we'll see if we can make some tapered siding. All right, guys, so I'm going to take the jig off of here for now until. Uh, We get an 8 inch wide cant to put on it. And then we're going to cut some tapered siding. I think I have the uh, increments on the mill figured out. I think we have to cut in 3 quarter inch increments. And if that's the case, that'll be pretty simple with the quarter scale on the, on the mill. I just have to... Uh, Run it on six quarter at the top of the scale, and then six quarter in the middle of the scale, and then six quarter at the bottom of the scale. And that cuts approximately three quarter, not quite. But this jig is not too bad. And I'm thinking if it works, we've got a pretty good market on the. We've got a pretty good market on the siding that we sell that's not tapered, but we do have a lot of people asking if we have tapered siding, so that's why I built the jig. All right, guys, thanks for coming along with us. If you're not a subscriber to our channel, hit that subscription button. Not that one, because that one's just a reminder. You notice my assistant's not with me today. That's because she just jumps around. I can't get her to do nothing. <laughs> And you want to give us a thumbs up, that thumbs up tells YouTube not only did you watch our video, but you liked our video. And when you like our video, YouTube gets it out there more for more people to look at it. 
the more people will look at it, the better our channel does. So by just doing that, hitting the, hitting the like button, you really help our channel. Hit the notifications bell, guys. You don't want to miss any future videos. And if you haven't watched all of our videos, we picked out nice 10 nice videos for you to watch in our playlists. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along. Until the next one, we will catch you later. And for Tim, bye-bye now.